This is the Southern Digest News Minute. Southern University's Board of Supervisors discussed the demolition of four vacant dorms in the back of the Baton Rouge campus. System Director of Facilities Enos Vincent says that the delays of the demolition of Carroll Hall, Satter White Hall, Moore Hall, and Octavia Head Clark Residential and Dining Hall are due to environmental abatement to remove asbestos from the building. Vincent said demolition should be complete by April, although they're pushing for January. Southern University's sophomore class and men's federation hosted a balloon launch in front of Smith Brown Memorial Union in celebration of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Students dressed in pink honored their loved ones by releasing pink balloons to advocate awareness for the Baton Rouge community. Senior criminal justice major from New Iberia and president of Men's Federation Stephen Lawson says that Men's Fed partnered with the sophomore class to bring as much awareness to the cause as possible. The Capital Area Transit System held a public town hall meeting to discuss its new plans for the city of Baton Rouge in 2014. CATS plan to implement 10 additional routes, decrease wait time from 2 hours to 45 minutes, purchase 12 additional buses for some routes, increase the number of service hours, and implement express routes. Chief Executive Officer of CATS, Bob Marabito, says that Southern students will now be able to go downtown without stopping and that they will now be able to access the whole Baton Rouge area, including Walmart and Baker. Southern University Student Government Association held a Senate meeting to discuss the committees that were assigned to mirror initiatives discussed during the 2013 SGA Spring Election. The new committees will evaluate what portions of the funds from Referendum 3 that they need respectively and how these funds will be used. The Senate is also planning to reform the SGA Constitution, Bylaws, and Election Code. SGA Vice President Sarah Martin said that they have found documents that can be contradictory sometimes, and they plan on making the necessary changes. This is the Southern Digest News